in this video we're going to cover all the latest news that's going on inside conversion.ai. So let's see what the conversion.ai team have been up to over the past seven days. Now on the 19th of April there were quite a few announcements made by the admins inside the Facebook group. The first announcement was a new feature which is the document history. Now the document history in a nutshell saves your work. In other words if you make a mistake or for whatever reason, your browser refreshes and you lose all your data, you're not actually going to lose that data. It's going to automatically be in the document history tab that conversion.ai have just brought out. So let me show you what I'm talking about. Let's head over to long form assistant. Let's go over to blank document. Just gonna close this. And what you can see here is a blank document. What you will notice is this little green check mark here, which says just now. If I click on this, you'll see it's empty and it's empty because I've not done anything yet. I've not made any amendments. So the way this works is really simple. I'm just gonna go ahead and say, hello, how? And if we click back onto it, you can see that nothing appears. And the reason for this is because we've not made any uh, amendments to this text. So let's just go ahead and now remove today. Okay. Now that automatically saved. And if we click on this arrow, you can see there's a new log here. Okay. So again, let me just go ahead and get rid of you. Keep the full stop there. This is automatically saved. And now let's click on this again. And now you can see we've got a whole bunch of stuff. So if I just click on each one, uh, this one shows, hello, how are you? As you can see, hello, how are you today? So if I wanted to restore the original version, I'm just gonna go ahead and do restore version. And there we have it, okay? Now what's really refreshing about uh, this particular feature is not so long ago, there were a few incidents where some uh, users lost some of their work because the browser refreshed and it didn't save their work. So so this only happened like a week ago from creating this video or something on those lines. And since then they were, they took action and they brought out this feature. Now let's go ahead and move on to the next new feature, which is the new short code for the long form assistant. So as you can see on the Facebook group, they made another announcement here and they have basically said new short code in long form assistant, short code asterisk. Okay. So the reason this is such an important feature is because lots of users have been suffering with uh, repetitive content. And the reason why people have been suffering with repetitive content is because what Jarvis does is it uses 600 characters from the previous text as well as the information inside the document settings to create the new text. But sometimes we don't feed Jarvis enough information or other times the niche is super niche. So Jarvis is struggling finding uh, relevant content to create its unique uh, text around. So what this short code does is it will start everything from scratch. So instead of using the past characters and the document settings to form its new text, it's gonna be as if everything's fresh. So then Jarvis really goes into hardcore forget mode and it will start generating from potentially new sources or something on those lines. Let me show you what I'm talking about. What Jarvis does is it, let's say I wanted to create some text around about here, okay? So what Jarvis will do when I press the compose button is it will take the past 600 characters here as well as the document settings here and it will generate the text, okay? Which sometimes it creates duplicate stuff. So the short code or the new feature is we will simply add three asterisks like that. And that is basically saying, hey Jarvis, I want you to completely forget about everything above and go ahead and compose some new information for me. And of course, one of the most exciting features that they've just brought out is explain it to a child template. You see, this is actually a really important feature that's now been introduced because browsing habits online, when people are reading and stuff like that, people don't actually read stuff. I'm not saying that's everyone, but I'm saying a lot of people were so overwhelmed with information that we tend just to skim uh, text now instead of reading it, unless we're really trying to be specific or we're really trying to educate ourselves, which obviously makes it difficult when we're trying to get people to buy our products or stuff like that because ultimately what they're doing is scanning the the page and just kind of 
kind of looking for key uh, words or anything on those lines. It's just anything that's just going to give them a straight to the point answer so they can follow their heart and uh, make a purchase. Now they actually say that when you're writing online you should really uh, be writing at a fifth grader uh, level or uh, I think that's ranged from, I think it's nine to 12 year olds, which actually makes a lot of sense considering people skim documents now, so they just need clear, concise information and something that's not gonna make them think too hard. So this is exactly what this explain to a child template does, which is you input your text and then you'd say, hey, what grade do you want this to be written at? Do you want a, a fifth grade or a sixth grader, etc, etc. And then Jarvis will go ahead and write the document like that. So let me show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so here I am in my portal. I'm just gonna go ahead and type in explain. And as you can see, it's got explain it to a child. So what it says is rephrase text to make it more simple to understand and easier to read. I'm gonna go ahead and click this. And now what it wants you to do is input the text, okay? So I've literally just uh, taken some of the text from uh, the official Facebook group post announcing this and I'm just going to say hey let's do this at uh, grade level six in fact that that's what they're actually recommending you want to go with around about fifth or sixth grader uh, we'll go with sixth grader okay and now let's just go ahead and do generate AI content Okay, and there we have it. We have three new pieces of templates using less jargon speak and basically just easier on the eyes for people who kind of just wanna make a instant decision on things. Now, I've seen a lot of people in the Facebook group also ask the question, what are the uh, pound signs for, the little hashtag symbols? Why uh, are people using this in their live training within the group? Why are YouTubers using this? What are they actually for? And how should they be used? So I thought, you know what, I've seen enough people asking this and I feel like a lot of the time these questions are getting lost inside the community only because there's over 10,000 members in there and it's a really active community. So it's very easy for these sort of posts to get lost. So let me show you how the pound sign symbol should actually be used. The way the pound signs work are really very simple. You simply do two pound signs and then you would put your title here, okay? So now what this is telling Jarvis, these pound signs are basically a short code. And what it's telling Jarvis is, hey Jarvis, this is a title. It's very similar to um, heading one, heading one and heading two and all the heading tags or if you're into HTML and you know HTML, you know the H1 tags right here, okay? So it's basically telling Jarvis, hey Jarvis, these are titles so I kind of want you to take the title and write uh, related information about that title, okay? And that's basically what the hashtags are. Um, nothing more, nothing less. It's simply just a way to communicate with Jarvis. Hey Jarvis, this is a title. And then Jarvis will do its best to find all related information about that title. Now, before we end this video, I just wanted to make a special announcement because uh, Conversion.ai team and the users of Jarvis have just hit a big milestone. Uh, this was on the 16th of April. So let's head over to the Facebook group. And as you can see by Dave, uh, he's saying that he's now written 125 million words. That is a ton of words and you know it's actually quite exciting as well because um i think last i checked they've got something like a thousand customers they've only been going for around about three months and that is really that just kind of shows how much each customer is actually using this software and often when people use uh, the software they're getting results from it or they're enjoying it or you know, the, the the using it the right way, or they, they feel some sort of personal gain from it, which ultimately is what you want when you spend money on a service. So congratulations to Conversion.ai's team and all the Jarvis users as well, including myself. Now, if you've not yet taken the plunge to purchase Conversion.ai, and you're still on the fence of, hey, is it gonna do me? Is it not gonna do for good for me? Anything those lines, go ahead and visit trialjarvis.com.
Now, once you're on this site, go ahead and click this button here. This button will give you 10,000 free credits, which means that you don't need to spend a penny until you know if the software is for you. Now, one last thing, if you can go ahead and just leave a little like on this video, that would be fantastic. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.